set up at Jardine National Park. We're all in one spot. I'm just going to take the boat off and we're going to go and have a walk through the forest. Nice and quiet. Let's go and explore, Jima. <laughs> Well, hello from Margaret River! Hooray! We made it! So we're at Geraldine National Park and um, we're just off to the dump because there's a little dump up the road here to get some, rid of some rubbish and today we're going to Lake Caves and we're going to a lookout to have a look around and if Gmar behaves herself we might stop off somewhere and have a cup of tea. Are you going to behave yourself, Gmar? Yes, yes. Yes. Promise. So. Put a cup of coffee out there. Cup of coffee. There could be a caramel slice or a uh, oh, no more a chocolate muffin. So, yes, uh, ten days here before we head south down that uh, southwest coast of WA. So, uh, next spot is a cup of the lavender field. I think they call it lavender farm. Nanup farm. Nanup lavender farm. Mm. I think that's what it's called. Nanup. Nanup lavender farm. So that's our next spot. So yeah, but ten days here. So looking at some caves, going to some beaches, um, and. Um, yeah, enjoying. Enjoying some wineries. Yes. Of course, Margaret River. Got to do that. But enjoying the um, the forest because 12 months from we ago when we were here, this place was devastated by fire. But it's um it's it's come back beautifully. So uh, we'll show you a bit of footage of the uh, the local area from on the ground and and above. All right. Enjoy. So we're just walking through the uh, forest. This is pretty well where we were. Uh, 12 months ago, I'll, I'll drop a bit of footage in um, just to show you how well it's recovered. In fact, I think it was this tree that I walked up to last year. But yeah, she's uh, she's recovered really well. 12 months, you got the leaves wrapping around the trees to protect them, and uh, yeah, starting to return to what it should look like. I need a me for a second, I got needs. Occasionally, I set them free. You don't get fires? No. You do in your lounge room. Yeah, but not not in our forest that we can park. Right. I've been dancing on my own so bravely. Now they round on my mind. Sunshine in the day I'm 
Trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm-hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in So this old girl, before she fell down, was 400 years old. A couple of old things down here, Gemma, that are 400 years old, eh? <laughs> Look, there's another one. He's rude, isn't he? I just, just ignore it. <laughs> and I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm-hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried You're in nature's window there, Gemma. I found my own. Oh, jeez. Well, it happens in threes. You've chopped your leg off here. Right, Gemma, here we go. 17, 18, 19, 20, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lake Caves. Yeah, lovely. You can see the devastation of fire scores down here, too. A bit of, fair bit of infra- infrastructure taken out, but. Um, I'm done well to get it back together. After a nice big walk, it's time for a brew. Cheers! Cheers! In the brew house, the Margaret River brew house. Mrs. Tell them where we're off to today, day two of Margaret River. The Berry Farm for uh, coffee and scones. Or scones. 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 And then we're going to mosey over to Gracetown and do a little walk that we've been told about up to North Point. But I'm 
you can't find it. So maybe it'll be to South Point. See if I can find it though. And then more importantly at 5 pm we have an appointment with the hairdresser for Gma. Not for me. Gma's hair. Looking a bit oh, shaggy. I'm happy tomorrow morning when you say hello. Got a bag on her head. Yeah, we've got a big bag there, Jim. That's all right. Right, I so a bit of bit of footage from the berry farm and a little walk that we're going to go on too today. So we're going to Town. And the sun is shining and it's a beautiful day. Gary Goenna. 
Just dropped the generator off because we've had issues with it again. So, um, Small Engine Works in Margaret River. So, they're having a look at that because it's been a bit cloudy. So, we haven't been able to get power into the batteries in the van. So, anyway, we'll see what that brings. But we've sort of gone north to come back south now to Augusta. We're going to the Cape Lewin, Lewin Lighthouse. It's, a, it's the tallest lighthouse on mainland Australia. Um, over 40 metres high. 40 metres high, yeah. So um, we'll go and have a look in there, just deciding whether we do the lighthouse walk or we just go for one around the yards. Because it's uh, 20 bucks to get in and one around the yard to the museum and then I think it's another 20 bucks to go up. So we'll have a, have a decision around whether we spend that money on that. And then we're going for a walk in Augusta. There's a couple of K walk along the front. And um, we get back and then we're going to a winery this afternoon, Redgate Winery, because it's Friday. Not Redgate, no, we're going to Hamlet Bay, because oh, we're on that road. Hamlet Bay. Yeah. Right, Hamlet Bay, there you go. Yeah. Redgate, you'll have to wait. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Redgate. <laughs> we don't have to wait too long to go to wineries. <laughs> I didn't mention that last year, 12 months ago, when we were down here in Augusta and uh, Cape Lewin, and we visited the lighthouse, it had its jammies on. There was a big blanket around it. It was covered, so we couldn't see it. So I'll drop a photo of that in and uh, show you some footage of what it looks like now after it's been refurbished and painted. It looks brand new. the Lewin Lighthouse and um, I'm all mic'd up so hopefully you can uh, hear what I'm saying but uh, this is what we're looking at as we walk into the uh, Cape Lewin Lighthouse. I'll just show you that and you might remember last year when we were here it had its blankets on I'll drop a photo of that what it actually looked like but uh, yeah it's all open now and the tours so it looks like we're going to um, fork out and get up the top too see how we go. The missus has just reliably informed us that this was closed up for? 14 months. 14. And they did tell me how many millions, but I can't remember. Oof. To get it clean. Yeah. Right, right. Here we go. So we'll go and have a bow peep of that and uh, yeah, show where the Indian Ocean and the Southern Ocean meet. Big line. Right, oh, just heading to the lighthouse keepers cottage, one of three that were here that were operational until 1988, and these are the family's quarters. Um, so this is what they were, indicative of that time. And just had some good news too, the generator's fixed. So sticking throttle was the issue. So we can go and pick that up as well. So it's your beauty.
Jima, you hold on, that wind's strong. I've seen the line. You've seen that. You've seen the light. I've seen the light, and I've seen. You've seen line. the light, and you've seen the line. The Indian Ocean to the Southern Ocean. It's over there at the moment. Right over there. There's a direct line. So there you go. They were the important, played an important part, didn't they, lighthouses? Yes, they did. Back in the day, too many shipwrecks. That's why they had to build them. Uh, People could yeah, sink in their ship. Until there were too many shipwrecks before they built them. Yeah. They were building them first to prevent too many. Oh shipwrecks. no, that's not the way we roll. That's not the way things happen. Righto. Offer a cup of tea. Something.